Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Divine Structure Deck today for the question to see what we can focus on. And later on I'm going to be doing a reading for Libra too. So if you're a Libra or your mask on is, make sure you check out that reading. But right now we're going to see what you need to focus on. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com for all the information. Wow, jump straight out. What's our mission together? What's our mission together? And that's the only card that wants to come out. Now, the first thing you've been shown there is the stag. And the stag is the promise of your union. The promise that you will be together in a physical relationship in this lifetime. And the fact that the stag is there on the end of the cliff is also a big sign of the way that we take that leap of faith to be together. We overcome all the blocks and obstacles and struggles to be together. And part of those obstacles, struggles and the pain is also part of the mission. We learn and we grow so that we can really help others to, but also to understand others, others' points of view. And they give me a block in the throat chakra. So you may be confused as to what you're learning right now or why you're going through what you're going through, but it always has substance and value and it will always work in your higher good. So your mission together is number one, to be together and to overcome all those obstacles and challenges to be together to find the strength and courage and determination to end up together, which you will. But also your mission together is using all the skills and tools and all the things you've learned to be together for your mission. So you can use all those skills and tools to help others. You know, for example, without me going through all of my struggles on my journey, I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk about separation. And I certainly wouldn't understand it. So everything I've been through has helped me to sit here today and help you to find your way to your union and then towards your mission because you have a mission together and that mission will be revealed in divine timing. So let's connect and see what we need to know. So I'm going to bring in the Eternal Seeker Oracle. This is a beautiful deck and I'm also going to bring in the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards and I'm going to bring in some Tarot. So we're going to bring in some tarot as well. So what's your mission together? What's your mission together? What's your mission together? One card coming out of that deck. Wow. What's your mission together? What's your mission together? And obviously we think about mission. We think about the healing journey. You know, we think about how we can help humanity. You know, we think about me and George, for example, we help because we've both got YouTube channels and that's our mission together to be in union, to be a light and your mission and your union is to be a light in whatever field that is. You're not necessarily going to be doing the work that me and George do, you could be doing all kinds of things, but ultimately <clears throat> they're going to be a block in the throat. What the angels want you to know is your mission is to overcome all the blocks and obstacles, all the challenges and struggles to be together. So you can share your light and your story and your experiences with the world to be pioneers of truth and leaders of love and warriors of light. So the energy, I look at this, the three of swords, the mission together is to overcome any heartbreak or pain. <clears throat> they give me a block. So right now, your mission is to move out of separation or your mission is to move out of the feeling that anything is missing or lacking in your life. Separation is illusion. So really, thank you, angels. The angels are saying what your mission is, is to realize that there's nothing, you know, as powerful as love, but there's no such thing as a separation. <clears throat> separation is preparation separation is illusion it does not exist because you and your twin are one you live within each other and you're attaining that knowledge so the <coughs> they're really blocking my throat <coughs> 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 
I just had to stop the video then because it was so intense the way I was coughing because they really blocked my throat chakra. So what the angels are really saying is what your mission is together is to overcome any blocks in communication. So you can communicate with each other and the world about what this love is. And you learn that during the times where you are silent, during the separation, during the times where you're not together because you're learning from each other. So the times of separation help you towards your mission and help you attain the truth. Now, what I'm really feeling in this card, first of all, is the energy of 24, because I feel so many twin flames are going to move into union and mission in 2024. You know, the angels have been very clear about that, saying from 2020 to 2024, twin flames all over the world are coming into union. So obviously, some of you may not come into union then because you may be new to the journey and you're still learning your lessons. But a lot of you will be and you're attaining this power. You're realizing why you've come. And also look at this, the birth of creation, potential growth. So you're coming into mission for potential growth to help the world, to birth a new way of being to create something wonderful in the world. So you may be coming together to have children. You know, that may be part of your mission to bring other souls into the world and help them to grow. And that's your legacy. So I feel that some of you have the mission together to have children together. Maybe some of you already do. But you're birthing something new together. So you're going to be creating something new together projects, goals, dreams, potential growth. You have the potential to grow to something wonderful in your life, to achieve great things, to make things happen. But ultimately, it's to serve and help and to be a light, to be a leader, to show the world the truth of who you are. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this with the guidebooks today. So we're going to check in with the energy of attainment, the energy of attainment, which is really powerful. So the message for this says, let me find it, attainment, attainment, attainment. I also have to pick up the right book. I'm going, I'm going to do actually this one first because this is the one that I'm being guided to first, the birth of creation. And they show me that like an egg there has changed. So the birth of creation, this says to you, since ancient times, the egg has been a symbol of the universe, creation and life itself. It's symbolic of the Holy Resurrection and the Trinity, the seed of potential life and luck and wisdom. A representation of womanhood and fertility, eggs need incubation and serve as protection for the growing life within. A gathering of energy, a combination of light and shadow, yin and yang, all meeting in one sacred space, evolving and growing to a rate of it that's invisible to the outside world. So what I'm really feeling with this is, your mission together is to be a combination of light and shadow, to be a gathering of energy, the yin and the yang all meeting up in one place. And that's what you're doing. Like an egg, life can be fragile. Given a sustainable environment, life energy is cracking and opening its protective layers to witness the outside world. So in other words, everything you've been through in your journey has helped you to become strong enough to handle your mission and to share your light and love with the world. You are also a product of your environment. Everything there is around you is destined to evolve, change and develop as you grow physically. These environmental influences form a part of your conscious actions as you adapt to the world around you. Spending time with your twin flame, and this is what they show me intuitively, can influence your behavior, your character, your thoughts and beliefs. Positive or negative, their energy integrates with yours and can affect your choices. So you're going to be making choices together when you are in mission. These environmental influences form a part of your conscious actions as you adapt to the world around you. So you're adapting to things together, changing things together spending more time together and with people that ignite the fire in your soul rather than those who hold you back from success. So you're going to be helping each other to achieve great things, to achieve success. You're going to be building each other up instead of knocking each other down. So right now your spirit team is asking you to try new routines, 
to get creative, to create a vision board about what you would like to achieve in your life, whether small or large goals, the interests you have or the short or long term achievements. Take the time to nurture these areas. Birthing new ideas and projects now will bring many blessings. So in other words, it's about thinking about what you love, thinking about what you enjoy, what turns you on, what passions you have. You know, for me, I always knew that I wanted to share my readings and help with cards and, you know, be a leader in that way. And they give me fear. So we also release all the fears around being our authentic self and sharing our light. Family matters, children and fertility are in focus now. So obviously when you are together in your union, part of your mission will be to build a family, build a life, to build a home together, to build a stable environment for each other and anyone you bring into that environment. And also by being a professional, giving advice to others to provide and sustain and maintain a healthy environment for themselves. So this is also a big message about how you are helping other twin flames to come together, but also helping others to see past the pain and focus on love. You are preparing to start or add to your family. Your physical issues and emotional matters need to be addressed now. So this is about changes so you can be together. So really what you do is you resurrect the past. And you move out of victim-based mindsets or any rigid thinking. And the angels assist you to harmonise and nurture your life. So you adapt to your new environment together and nurture the new life with love. So that's really what you're going to be doing when you are in union. Because your mission is to be together. And when you are together, your mission is to shine your light. However you do that together and separately and to show the world and yourselves what happiness is. And you do that through what you birth and what you create. So the attainment of this is coming in 2024. So the number 24 itself, you know, I'm seeing that as a number about luck and power. And this is about being inspired to make changes. So the message says, personal freedom always comes at great personal cost. But what price do you place on your sovereignty? You have arrived at a place in your life where joy, liberty and independence are yours for the taking. Honour who and what it took to bring you here. Be grateful for all that was sacrificed for the greater good. It's your turn. So in other words, you are ready to attain union. You're ready for this, but it's in divine timing. That's why so many of you are being made aware it's happening in 2024. You're preparing for it. So You deserve the world. And when you're together in mission, you'll feel free. You'll feel strong. You'll feel good. You'll feel like you can achieve anything and do anything. And you'll feel at peace with it. You know, you won't feel jealous or angry or frustrated anymore. There'll be none of the things you've healed before union, in union. And that's what you're being guided to know. So your mission is to be a light. To show others how relationships should be. To show others how... A relationship is unconditional. You know, how love should be unconditional without demands, conditions, controlling behavior, manipulating or manipulating the other person, you know, manipulative behavior. It's about freedom. And that's what me and George have. You know, we've been together four years nearly. And, you know, our journey is about freedom, love and unconditional love. No conditions, being at peace with where we are, allowing ourselves to be ourselves completely, but also to be one. And that's what your mission is together. So instead of thinking, what's your mission as in a physical job or something that you do to bring money in, think of it as you being a power couple to help and heal the world. And I want to bring in my debt power couples because I feel this is also important that. You know, you know what aspects you are healing right now to bring in love. So as a power couple, look at this. We've got Buffy and Giles. So Buffy and Giles, think about Buffy and Giles, first of all. Who are they? They were in um, from Buffy. So Giles is the older one. Buffy is the younger one. So you've got an age gap there. So it could be an age gap connection that allows the guidance in. So you both learn and grow from each other. And also because you nurture and love each other. 
And you prove to the world that age is illusion and love conquers all. But also, Giles and Buffy are teachers and students to each other because Giles is Buffy's teacher. But Giles, Giles learns so much from Buffy. And Buffy is strong. Buffy is the vampire slayer. And Giles is the watcher. So we learn to observe our thoughts and act accordingly. So the guidance, you receive guidance. So part of your mission together is to share guidance and to heal each other and be there for each other. But you're constantly learning and growing from each other as students and teacher dynamic. And David and Elise avoidance. So this is about realizing that fate and destiny really do have your back. You know, the universe has got your back, that nothing can stop you from being together. And you learn to face the things that you avoid. Now, David and Alicia may think, who are they? They were in the film, The Adjustment Bureau, and they wanted to be together. And it was like fate and destiny were stopping them from being together because they had other paths. But the fate and destiny realised that their love was too strong and it was conquering everything. So they had to be together. So this is about realising that you belong. So it's about fate and destiny. I'm not seeing it as avoidance. I'm seeing this as the couple themselves. Showing you that no matter what's going on, no matter what happens, you will end up together because it's meant to be. So part of your mission is also to show the world that it's destiny, it's fate. That there's miracles happening behind the scenes. That you really can trust in God's plan because God's plan always is the truth. And that's for you to be together in divine timing. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.